Hey guys, it's Lizard here, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to short drag click with your glorious Model O. The reason this video is entirely focused on short drag clicking is because it is the most important bridging method for when you're starting to learn non chip bridges such as Gaw Bridge, Breezley, and Moonwalk. If you do find the video useful, please consider subscribing, it really does mean so, so much, but with that being said, let's get straight into it. Alright, so first things first, as it goes with any Model O drag clicking tutorial, you are going to need to change the debounce time to 4 milliseconds or even lower. As you can see in the top left of my screen, the Model O is very good for double clicking, but in order to do this, the debounce time needs to be 4 milliseconds or lower, otherwise both clicks will not register and only one will. If you don't change your debounce time at all, you will still be able to do the double click on the mouse, but it'll only register one click in game. Now with that out of the way, we can move on to the actual method. For the fast short drag click that you'll be using to do things like bridging, you want to start around the top of where your mouse wheel ends. You almost want to create an invisible line from where the top of this mouse wheel ends all the way across the top of your mouse. If you're trying to bridge, this is exactly where you want to short drag click. The reason for this is that it's so easy to reset your finger. You drag click to the end and all you have to do to reset is move it back like half an inch. The reason this is so good for bridging is because when you finish your drag click and your finger is at the end of the mouse, all you have to do is move it about half an inch backwards and you're already good to go for your next drag click. As you can see, the very end of the mouse is super super sensitive and you barely have to move the button at all to actually register a click. This is important to know because what it means is that you do not have to press down very hard at the end. When you're trying to drag click farther back on the mouse, you're going to have to press down a lot harder. On the very end, you can be very gentle and still register your CPS. This is very important to know because when you're trying to bridge, if you start drag clicking too hard, you're going to move your mouse just a little bit as you can see. This of course is very bad for bridging because if you move your crosser the tiniest bit, it will mess up your bridge and you'll likely fall off. So how exactly do you make your finger drag click on the mouse? Now of course drag clicking is a skill, so it will take you a little bit of time to learn. Some people learn in a couple minutes, some people take a couple days, it really depends, but don't stress yourself over it. If you don't get it immediately, that's perfectly normal. When I first learned how to drag click, it took a couple of weeks, so don't stress yourself over it. The most important thing you need to understand when drag clicking is that your finger does not get stuck to the mouse. When you take your finger along the mouse surface, as you can see, you're dragging it, it's not gonna click at all. When you're trying to drag your finger along the mouse, there's going to be two very common ways that you'll mess up, and you want to find a little bit of a middle ground somewhere in order to maximize your drag clicking ability. The first type is that you're drag clicking your finger too gently. As you can see this doesn't register even a single click. You're dragging your finger but it's not getting any friction because you're pressing down too gently for your finger to get the friction. The second type is pressing down too hard. What this means is that when your finger first collides with the mouse you're pressing down but you're never letting go enough for it to actually release. When you're learning to drag click, you want to start off by making your finger move very fast along the mouse surface. The reason speed lets us get so much friction when drag clicking is because you're moving your finger so fast that the mouse does not get stuck to your finger. What this means is that as long as you're applying consistent pressure very quickly, you're going to find your finger starts bouncing off the mouse. Another thing to mention is that some people have a lot of trouble with the way their finger moves along the mouse surface. If after even a couple of days, you find you can't get the friction to drag click, you want to try going to other methods. Number one would be tape. I highly recommend electrical tape. It gives the mouse a different kind of surface that's usually a lot easier to drag your finger across because the friction lets your finger bounce off of the mouse and therefore register more clicks as you drag along the button. The second method would be tape residue. You can take something like scotch tape, apply it along the mouse, push it down very firmly, peel it off, and there'll be residue along the mouse button. This residue makes your finger very sticky, which means that every time you press down, your finger will get caught a little bit. So as long as you're applying consistent pressure, your finger will get caught over and over again, and that'll allow you to drag click because you're pressing down each time your finger gets caught. The last method is just a little bit of water, literally a tiny cup of water, something you just wet your finger a little bit, wet the mouse button a tiny bit. For whatever reason, water helps you get a little bit more friction because it gives your finger a little bit of a different surface to drag click on, and that in return helps you get more friction. You'll have to find the method that works best for you. I've adjusted so much to the mouse surface already that I don't find it necessary, but if you need it, it's there and it will help you a lot in the short term. So to revise, we want to make sure that our finger is at the very end of the mouse squirrel wheel and we are going to be dragging it along the very edge. As you can see, it's very sensitive, so you do not have to press down. When you make that initial impact, you want it to be firm, but you do not want to slam your finger on the mouse. If you start your drag click too vertically, you're going to just see your finger slams along the mouse button, and this means that you can't drag click because your finger is just getting stuck. If you take your finger and you drag click vertically, you're going to see that it's not very good for registering CPS. What you want to do is take your finger and move it more horizontally along the mouse, and as you move forward, adjusting your finger to be a little more vertical as you go on. For example, it would look something like this. Curve your finger a tiny little bit, bring it to where the end of the mouse wheel lines up on the rest of your mouse button, and do a gentle drag click, starting off firm and following through all the way to the end. When practicing for your short drag click, you'll know you're ready to start bridging when you can get about 3-4 to four CPS between where the mouse wheel ends and the end of your mouse button. What this will look like is this.
And here's some examples of that with different types of bridges. With that being said, that is about all I wanted to talk about in today's video. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. You can also go check out my other Monolo drag clicking tutorial. With that being said, if you did enjoy the video, consider subscribing. It really does mean so much. It's right down below. Oh, I broke a block. But with that being said, that is going to do it for today. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys soon. Goodbye.